<laughs> yep, it's story time. It is story time. Oh God, <laughs> James EP is asking, has anyone had Steak and Shake? I never had it, but I hear it's good. I have extremely, extremely bad experiences with Steak and Shake. I, I think Steven Vlog has the experience down for the record. Because uh, it was when Steven was here to visit and I was hanging out with him and TRG. And um, one night we were like, eh, wh why not? Let's go to Steak and Shake, you know? Uh, I didn't really want to go. I'm not into, like, that... I'm, I'm not into Steak and Shake at all, but I just, I was, I kind of thought about it. I was like, okay, you know what? Whatever. Everyone else is into this Steak and Shake thing. We can go to Steak and Shake. I wasn't, gonna, I wasn't going to complain about it, put it that way. Especially since it was the only thing open at that hour. We got there and we were like, hey, okay, we're here. We want a table. And they're like, oh yeah, sure. Uh, give us a minute. And then we had to wait for a really long time. Okay, normal enough, right? Except... The entire place was empty except for maybe two other groups in the entire restaurant. And we went to sit down eventually. And they were like, okay, well, we'll take your orders. Do your order thing. And so we sat down. And we looked through the menu. And we all decided on whatever we, whatever it was that we wanted to eat. John, John ordered um, a hot dog. Right? John ordered a hot dog. And he wanted it to have basically nothing on it he wanted i forget exactly what it was but he stressed that he wanted no ketchup absolutely zero ketchup on it he was completely like a, I, I guess john hates ketchup but that's essentially what happened they take forever like seriously for freaking ever i forget i forget if it was mustard or ketchup it was some condiment probably mustard they wanted to fulfill John's order of a hot dog, but they were taking for freaking ever. 40 minutes pass, no food, and we're like, what the frick? Why is the food not coming out? And um, we're like, okay, sure, whatever. They finally bring out the food, and John's hot dog is smothered in ketchup, onions, mustard and everything on it was basically a hot dog version of the works okay it was like piled high with like everything on it and he just looks at this hot dog with the most upset face i have ever seen john make he just he looked down at this hot dog and he was completely devastated he was so angry at this hot dog and i was like oh no oh no yeah, he, he wanted nothing on it, Fan Fiction Dreamer. He, he asked for specifically, like, no, this, this, and this on John. But they brought out a hot dog with everything on it. Um, for the record, I ordered, like, their chicken nuggets or chicken fingers or whatever. And I swear to God, it had a bite taken out of it. I looked at my chicken nuggets, and they, it actually had a bite taken out of it. I was like, what? What the frick? Are you serious? And I, uh, needless to say, I just kind of sat there. I, I thought to, I thought to complain, but I was already like really tired and really upset. And I was like, I was kind of not having it. And I was like borderline not really wanting to eat there anyway. And it was super cheap food in the first place. So I was like, oh, whatever, whatever. I'll just tank the $3 it costs to get this, this chicken finger, this chicken finger thing. And so John looks at his hot dog and he picks it up and I'm like, are you actually going to eat that? And he's like, it's too late now. And he, he goes all in on this hot dog, guys. You have no idea. He just looks down, takes a huge honking bite of this hot dog. He just like shoves this the biggest bite of this hot dog that he can possibly get. And I wish you guys could have seen it. And I wish, I wish Steven was vlogging it because his face turned red his face just like it looked like a thermometer his face went from like really pale to completely freaking red as a chili pepper guys you have no idea it was the most bizarre thing and he his face was like staring down at the ground he was staring down at the ground like like the world was ending and like his eyes were wide and he started sweating and he didn't come up for air. 
I want to stress this, that he did not come up for air as he was eating this hot dog. He took a bite, chewed it kind of, swallowed, and then went down in for another bite. It was insane. I felt really bad because he looked like he was just being tortured. It was like fighting that gag reflex. It was, it was the best moment of my life, but also the worst moment of his. It was really funny. And so he, he continued to eat this hot dog. And eventually he did finish it. He actually finished the whole thing. But he sat there for a solid five minutes just staring at the table. Like, it felt like his soul had left him. It felt like his soul just completely left his body and he was gone. He was not there anymore. <laughs> so... Yeah, it was. That was a night. It was really bad.